I just dropped my daughter off at school and I am heading to the gym. I wanted to kind of emphasize something that I talked about yesterday with, you know, how losing weight and staying in shape is actually quite easy to do, but how it's hard at the same time. And it's easy because all you have to do is burn more calories than you consume. And it's hard because our minds tell us, you know, I don't feel like doing this. You know, we get lazy, we get complacent, we lack discipline, and it's all up in our heads. <laughs> what I was kind of wanting to talk about today is, you know, I'm not a proponent of any kind of diet that is super restrictive. I've done the Atkins diet, did that for quite a while. I've done fasting, so I would skip breakfast and wouldn't eat till lunchtime. And I did a diet where I ate most of my carbs in the morning and then tapered off by the end of the day. And so I hardly ate anything carby at the, you know, for dinner. And did I lose weight on all of them? Oh yeah. <laughs> but did I stick to any of those? Heck no. <laughs> because it's too restrictive. And when that happens, you know, if you're doing something that's too restrictive, as soon as you start craving something that you can't have, guess what you're gonna do? Overindulge. You're going to overindulge in the thing that you are not allowed to have. And then you're back on that vicious cycle of getting, you know, you feel guilty because you gave in then you um, start feeling guilty because you're like, look what I've gotten myself into. So I don't like diets that are restrictive. What I was talking to y'all about yesterday is figuring out your maintenance calories. And those are your calories that you are currently consuming to be at the weight that you are. And I'll post a link to a calculator that I use that can help you determine what your maintenance calories are. And so to lose weight, just eat under that. Now, I don't recommend going extreme <laughs> because extreme dieting is not sustainable. I eat about 100 or so calories under my maintenance calories. So weight loss for me is slow, but that's what I want. I don't want something that's super quick because I won't be able to manage it or maintain it. When it comes to food, if you're like me, I want my fried chicken, I want my Oreos, my potato salad, my mac and cheese. Like, I want that, and you know what? I'm not giving it up either. So, if you watch my cooking videos, you're gonna see that I cook all of that stuff, but I try to use lower calorie ingredients when possible. For example, on Facebook yesterday, I posted my lunch, and it was buffalo, honey, mustard, ranch, fried chicken pizza. It sounds like it's full of calories. Now, the only thing that would be, I guess, high in calories would be the fried chicken, but everything else I used was lower fat. Um, so the cheese I used was reduced fat. The honey mustard I used was reduced fat or fat-free. The ranch I used had zero calories in it. The tortilla that I used only had 70 calories in it. So you can still eat what you want and eat really good food, but just take your ingredients and see if you can find lower fat, reduced fat versions. And y'all, it's gonna make a huge difference. Now, just because you're eating lower fat, reduced fat, you can eat more if you stay under your maintenance calories, but if eating more is gonna put you over your maintenance, mm -mm. <laughs> don't do it. So. But anyway, so if you watch any of my cooking videos, you're gonna notice that I try when possible to use a lot of lower fat, reduced fat, fat-free ingredients. And y'all, I'm not gonna post something that's terrible. If I do post something that's terrible, I will let you know because I'll call it a fail. And I've only failed at one thing one time and that was a potato salad I was trying to make using the fat-free honey mustard. It was, it was yeah, mm -mm, no. So I posted that as a fail, but I'm not going to post something that tastes gross. So if you want to check out my channel to get ideas, cooking ideas, 
um, that will help you still eat what you want, but reduce your calories, please check out my videos. All right, y'all, well, I'm at the gym, about to go get my pump on. I know you probably can't see my muscle. It's there, it's there. Anyways, I'm gonna go hit the gym and I'll see y'all later, bye. Hey y'all, so I just got done with the gym, can you tell? While I was in the gym, I started thinking about something else when it comes to your diet. So not only do you need to stay under your maintenance calories if you're looking to lose weight, but you also need to make sure you're getting enough protein. Protein's gonna keep you full. If you're not getting enough protein, you're gonna find that you're hungry all the freaking time. I can't remember the calculation that I use to determine how much protein I should be consuming every day. So I'll find that calculation and I'll link it. I try to range anywhere from 80 to 100 grams a day. And yesterday I think I hit 90, 93. Um, so protein is necessary to keep you full, but it's also necessary if you're looking to build muscle. So just keep that in mind. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to turn some air on because I'm hot and I will see y'all later. Bye.